Hi, this is Dinesh from Pristine. In the previous session, we had a look at Weibull distribution, which is a two-parameter distribution. The two parameters being the shape and scale. In the current session, we will have a look at gamma distribution, which is again from the same family of distribution, having two parameters. As we have seen, the scale parameter decides the dispersion of the distribution and shape parameter decides the shape of the distribution and impacts the skewness and kurtosis. Just like exponential distribution, instead of the scale parameter, we can also parameterize the gamma distribution using a rate parameter which is nothing but inverse of the scale parameter. Therefore, you will see that different software allow the user to parameterize the gamma distribution using either scale or rate or any of the two parameters. Now, gamma distribution is mostly used in modeling of waiting times. The waiting time could be the time for a loan to default or a particular event to occur. Another way of looking at gamma distribution is that it is sum of exponential distributions. For instance, let us take a gamma distribution with shape parameter equal to 3 and scale parameter equal to theta. Then this is nothing but equal to sum of three exponentially distributed random variables and each exponentially distributed random variable has a mean equal to the scale parameter of the gamma distribution which is equal to theta. Therefore if the shape parameter is 1 then gamma distribution will be nothing but equal to an exponential distribution with mean equal to theta. Therefore, if shape is 1, gamma distribution is nothing but equal to exponential distribution. Also, gamma distribution is classified as a thin tail distribution. Exponential Weibull and gamma have a thinner tail as compared to log normal distribution. Now let us look at a small caselet on gamma distribution. We have fitted four distribution to a particular data set. And we would like to know which of the following four fits will result in a higher opvar. Assuming that the frequency distribution is same in all the four cases. Now, if frequency is same, then the operational var will be guided by the fatness of tail of individual severity distribution. So, we just have to determine out of these four severity distribution, which one will have a fatter tail. Just like what we did in case of Weibull caselet, we use the CDF function to find the cumulative frequency or the cumulative probability of a particular loss amount. So x is the loss amount. The two parameter of log normal distribution are log mean and log standard deviation and we simply use dollar referencing so that we can drag the formula. We copy the same formula in all the cells and we just change the CDF function name to the different distributions. So instead of log norm dist, in case of Weibull, we use the Weibull function. Since we require cumulative probability, 
we set cumulative equal to true. For gamma dist, again we set cumulative equal to true. And for exponential distribution, we use expound dist. Since it is a single parameter distribution, we delete the second parameter and we set cumulative equal to true. Now we simply have to drag the formula. We can see that exponential distribution has exhausted 100% of its probability at a loss level of 35,000. Therefore, the exponential distribution does not have a tail going beyond $35,000. So, exponential distribution has thinnest of tail as compared to these three for that particular data set. Between gamma and Weibull, we can see that gamma distribution has also exhausted most of its probability till 35,000. That is 99.98% of cumulative probability is reached at 35,000 severity. In case of Weibull, the probability is only 99.87. So between Weibull's and gamma distribution, for that particular data set, we can say Weibull distribution has a fatter tail. When we come to log normal distribution, we see that only 70% of probability, cumulative probability, is reached till 35,000. So out of the four fits, clearly log normal distribution has the fattest tail. Another way of looking at the same data is that we can plot a scatter plot of the CDFs. Now we can see that exponential CDF and gamma CDF reach 100% or close to 100% at a loss level of 20,000. Weibull CDF reaches close to 100% cumulative probability at a loss level of 30,000. However, log normal distribution does not reach even 70% or 80% at a loss level of 40. So clearly log normal distribution has a tail going beyond 40,000. So out of these four distribution, log normal 2,3 is clearly the one which has a fatter tail and assuming frequency is same for all the four cases, log normal distribution will translate into a higher operational var. This we can say without doing any convolution using a Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo simulation. To summarize, a gamma distribution is a two-parameter distribution, the two-parameter equ being equal to shape and scale. As we can see, with the shape equ equal to 1, a gamma distribution looks like an exponential distribution. When we increase the shape, we can see that the skewness decreases and the distribution becomes more and more symmetric. So as we increase the shape, the skewness declines and the distribution becomes more and more less skewed and more and more symmetric. This is just like Weibull distribution. In Weibull distribution also, if shape is equal to 1, both gamma and Weibull distribution are same as exponential distribution. And as we reduce the shape to below 1, the distribution becomes more and more skewed and its skewness starts increasing. The scale parameter does not change the skewness. So skewness as of now is 1.63. If we change the scale parameter, skewness will continue to be 1.63. It is just the mean and variance that will change. So to summarize, both gamma and Weibull distribution belong to shape and scale family of distribution. 
with shape equal to 1 both are same as exponential distribution reducing the shape below 1 makes the distribution more and more asymmetric that is the skewness of the distribution increases and changing the scale changes the dispersion of the distribution both gamma and wavelet are thin tail distribution as compared to log normal distribution and are used in operational risk only when the underlying data set does not have extreme values thank you